Your first alert forecast from 15 News. Let's take a closer look at where Francine is at right now. Still in the Gulf Coast and some good news this evening. This is still a tropical storm, so still at the same strength that it was 24 hours ago. Max wind still at 75 miles per hour and it will continue to move towards the northeast. Right now it's moving at about 10 miles per hour. Francine is still expected to strengthen into a category one hurricane before making landfall in Louisiana. But if you remember, if we were watching yesterday, they were previously expecting it to turn into a cat two. So that rating has come down just a bit, but still a uh, category one hurricane winds of 90 miles per hour still could see some storm surges around five to 10 feet in parts of Louisiana and then maybe over five inches of rain in some areas as well. They'll continue to bring some rain up through parts of Mississippi and up into the Memphis area weakening as it continues on shore, but where it goes from here is still a little bit of a question. If it continues moving farther north into parts of Illinois and Indiana, that could bring us some showers as we get into the weekend. But if it kind of sits right over Memphis and just fizzles out, that would mean we're mostly dry over the upcoming weekend. So no rain chances until then. We'll keep that chance for a spotty shower or two late Saturday and into Sunday. But as of right now, those rain chances looking pretty minimal. We really haven't had much rain or any rain so far yet uh, this month. Outside right now, you can actually see some dark skies just off towards the north and east. This is our Capital Sky Cam looking eastward. There are some light showers making their way through, but everyone's still reporting drier conditions. Just clouds in Madison and in Janesville. Maybe some sunshine peeking through in Dodgeville right now at 72 degrees. We're at 78 right now in Madison with winds coming in out of the southeast. So not a lot of this is actually making it to the ground because our dew points are pretty low. We don't have a lot of moisture in the atmosphere. So as this rain is falling from the base of those clouds, a lot of it is evaporating before it reaches the surface. You can see maybe some sprinkles are making it down in parts of Columbia County headed towards the Sun Prairie area. Maybe parts of Iowa County getting in on some very light showers at this point in time. I don't expect that to impact uh, your evening plans at all. All of this will continue to just fizzle out as it continues pushing farther east. This is all from a little boundary, just a little wave of energy that's sparking up some additional showers through parts of northern Iowa, up into Minnesota, then up just north of the Eau Claire area in northern Wisconsin. So we're mostly quiet through the rest of the night tonight. We will stick with that cloud cover, so some morning clouds for the start of your Wednesday. Temperatures, though, will warm pretty quickly. It'll be in the low 80s by about 1 o'clock and then mid 80s for those highs later in the afternoon. 84 is that high temperature in Madison. We'll probably get a couple degrees warmer for Thursday. More sunshine there. Thursday is the warmest day of the week. 86 degrees, maybe some areas into the upper 80s. We're slightly cooler, but still sticking with those 80s as we go into the upcoming weekend. So a little mm. toasty for mid-September. Summer isn't going anywhere for a while, is it? Nope. All right, we'll settle in. Amanda, thank you.